I'd say kind of conservative the first 400 and then kind of sped up a little bit uh, last bit. But it was a little more challenging than I thought it would be like fitness wise. Kind of just. Eh. How nervous were you uh, watching the, the last season? Uh, pretty nervous, you know. It was definitely a big goal to try to make the final this year. And uh, seeing them going out a lot faster than us kind of worried me a little bit. Were you surprised that? You know, that guy Antoine just basically came out of nowhere and flew by on the, on the lost lap. What were you yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, was in the, the last 200, 150, I wanted to take the lead right there, and then he just comes flying by. I was uh, expecting him to kind of die maybe the last 50 meters, but it never happened. He just kept on going, getting away from me. In the final, I mean, how do you play it? Do you want to get to the front immediately and just go from there? What do you think? It's a... Uh, it's kind of hard to say right now, but uh, definitely we try to be up in the front somewhere. We talk a little bit about the, this year, during the last last year or so. I mean, you know, you, you don't have a shoe deal, and now you're you know in the world finals. Uh, it's definitely going good. I would say it's more a lot better than I expected from uh, last a year ago, having not really much to uh, just competing at the elite level. Do, a year ago, where do you see yourself at this point? Ah. Uh, Probably not. <laughs> it's uh, everything's progressed a lot bit faster than I thought it would. Why? Uh, just the training, the energy from the team, great coaching, great environment. You come in as one of the medal favorites. Would you be disappointed if you don't medal in this race tomorrow? Uh, I would be honestly. Yeah, I definitely come here try to medal uh, tomorrow. Give it everything I can. Uh, kick and hope for the best. Oh, last year I was uh, working at McDonald's. I was an employee there, and I was kind of just training on my own. I didn't have a coach or anything like that. How did, how did you hook up with the training group? Um, the old coach, Coach V Hill, he used to train at Adam State. Uh, I went to Adam State. The uh, current coach, Damon Martin, told V Hill. And V Hill, he coaches Brandon Martinez, my right. teammate, so that kind of changed, so I got contact with me like that. Just being around Brenda, how how has that rubbed off on you? What's you know, what kind of influence has she had on you? Uh it's great. She uh but before even knowing her, she was one of my favorite athletes and uh, just her leadership and just positive energy it definitely rubs off on everybody. You think you'll get a shoe deal now? Hmm? Think you'll get a shoe deal now? Uh it would be nice, yeah. I'm not worried about it too much. Uh, it, was, uh, it was just a small McDonald's. It was a two, two-man crew. Uh, I, I did both uh, the counter and grill. Where, where, where was it at? It was inside of a Walmart. Where? In uh, Colorado Springs. Okay.